Now to Lebanon, where the militant group Hezbollah has announced Deputy Chief Naim Qasem will succeed its slain leader Hassan Azkhala. The group says Qasem was elected to the role due to his adherence to the principles and goals of Hezbollah. The 71-year-old replaces longtime leader Nasrallah, who was killed in an Israeli strike on Beirut in September. Journalist Stella Mena is in Beirut. Stella, tell us who is Naim Qasem? Naim Qasem is a very well-known political figure here in Lebanon. He has been Deputy Secretary General since 1991, and he was often the person who uh, talked to the media from Hezbollah, so his face is well, very well known to the public here. After Nasrallah's death, he also already served a little bit like an interim leader uh, by delivering three speeches uh, since then. Will his nomination bring us any closer to a ceasefire? In his last speech, Naim Qasem did indeed address uh, the topic of a ceasefire uh, by saying that uh, a, t a peace deal is very much needed and a deal shouldn't be linked anymore to uh, further agreements uh, in Gaza. But this, again, is nothing new. Hezbollah has mentioned its willingness to achieve a ceasefire uh, over and over again. So in reality, whether a deal uh, will happen or not is just a little bit more complicated as more actions Actors are um, involved. Um, but when we speak generally about Hezbollah and its position, it is important to know that uh, the political line of Hezbollah is not dependent on one person who is now a leader. So the personal influence, influence by Naim Qasem is a bit limited. OK. Well, the cross-border strikes do continue between Israel and Hezbollah. What's the latest on the ground? In South Lebanon, the night was marked by very heavy fighting between Hezbollah and Israel. And the Israeli army is continuing to bombard uh, various areas within South Lebanon, but also in the east of the country. According to the Lebanese Health Ministry, um, in the Bekaa uh, Valley, in the Bekaa region, at least uh, 60 people have been killed in, uh, in attacks. Here in Beirut, things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, last night was the second night in a row without any airstrikes on the southern suburbs of Beirut. The latest there from Stella Mena in Beirut. Thank you.